Hi everybody, welcome back. Are you like me and you think it's absolutely ridiculous to pay a hundred bucks or more for a plumber to come out and fix a leaky shower faucet that you know is going to be leaking again soon? Stick around, let's see if we can figure out a way to fix it for under two dollars. <music> So this is what we've got. It is a Delta faucet remodel from the early 90s with a fairly constant leak now. Um, this summer I had to go in and uh, replace the, um, the cartridge and already since this summer it's already starting to give us leaks. Um, as you can see it's a fairly constant leak throughout the course of the day that's causing us to lose several gallons of water a day. Um, so let's take, let's pull everything out, take a look and see what we can do about solving this leak. This may be your solution. New seat and springs. So I got these at my local supply store for $1 and 52 cents. Okay. Uh, this is a Danko. It is not specifically a Delta brand, but it's kind of a universal seat and springs. So let me take apart the the faucet, take out the cartridge, and show you where these are. If you don't have a completely self-contained unit like I do, this is where your seats and springs will be located. I fish them out with the eraser end of a pencil usually. Every so often you will get a self-contained cartridge like this. Um, if you need to replace the whole thing, I would suggest going to a local plumbing supply store. Otherwise you're going to pay something like this, this almost $38 at Lowe's, uh, checked at Home Depot, they were the same price. But whenever you have this, it's a self-contained unit. So these little seats, okay, are internalized here. So you have to take it apart. So a little click, and there are your seats right there, okay? They just come out just like a normal seat would, and there's your spring, okay? So, you have your seat, you have your spring. Well, a lot of times what happens is these little, either the seat will get worn out, which these actually look pretty good, uh, or your spring will lose its, its tension. And so that's what's happened here, see? Okay, it's really compressed the whole time, whereas, Compare that to these springs. Okay. Much more tension compression out of these. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to change these out. Also, I'd like to say this is a reminder to buy local when you can. This was the, uh, this whole unit was the $38 like I showed you. I checked at my local supply store where I bought these seats. Um, this unit was $38 at Lowe's. It was $24 at my local store. These seats, take a look up here, 
Okay. Ridiculously overpriced at almost $13. I got these again for a dollar and 52 cents. So buy local when you can. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change out these seats. Um, you have to always, the only thing you really have to be careful about is getting the spring in the right way. You always put large end in first. As you can see, there's a small end and a large end. Put the large end in first. Your seat will go over the spring just like that. We'll put this back together, put our new seats in, and we'll reassemble. We'll check out and see how it does. went out and turned our water back on so let's test it out and see what we've got yes you did buddy we're working and we're stopped there you go so that is an easy way to fix your shower for less than two dollars. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Heidi, come on, Chuck. Yeah. I didn't like just milling around. <laughs>